Hi, so we're going to talk about how to fit a helmet that you've received from the American Trauma Society Pennsylvania Division. So first thing, when you take the helmet out of the bag, there's going to be a few things inside of the helmet. Some extra pads in a bag, you can move those aside. This is going to be a visor as well as a little instruction sheet. You can kind of just lay all those out. And the first thing that you want to do is you want to open up the helmet as wide as you can by turning this turn dial. So I'm just twisting that and making it a really large um, space because I'll turn it tighter once I put it down on my head. The next thing you want to do is you want to get those helmets or those straps out of the way for when you do place it on your head. So I think it's easiest if you just move them right to the side so that they're out of the way. And then you're going to go ahead and place this helmet on your head. When you place it on the head, the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that it's nice and low and level. These helmets have a piece of black tape that runs along um, from the uh, top of the helmet. And so you want to use that as your guide. That should be nice and low and level to the ground. If you're fitting it on yourself, look in the mirror and just check to see where it is. The next thing that you want to do is you want to make sure there's one strap in front of the ear and one behind with that buckle below the earlobe. We might work on adjusting that a little bit more in a moment, but just to know that the straps lay where they need to lay. Then you're going to turn to the back and you're going to start tightening that and you'll hear it click. So what I'm doing is I'm tightening that down. It's click, click, clicking, and I'm getting a nice snug fit on my head for that helmet. So now that helmet is on. I don't even have the straps attached, but it's already snug on my, helm, uh, on my head. It's not moving all around. So then we want to look at these straps a little bit more closely. As I said, one in front of the ear, one behind. This buckle should be right below the earlobe. So you'll want to adjust those straps so that that buckle is below the earlobe. That just helps for you to um, get, a, get a nice good fit so that it's not going to move around. And then you can attach those straps under your chin uh, to be adjusted correctly as well. So there we go. I have a buckle below my earlobe, both sides. And then I'm going to work on making sure that I have this strap adjusted. The helmets do have a nice little pad so that um, when you go to buckle, you're not going to pinch yourself. Or if you're putting it on a child, you're not going to pinch them because that never goes well. So you're going to adjust that. You want to make sure this uh, strap is just snug enough that it's not going to come forward off of the chin. I'm going to give mine a little bit of more of a uh, pull just so that I make sure that it's not going to come forward off the chin as well as if I open my mouth wide, I can feel that helmet being pulled down on my head to protect me. You can kind of see it moving a little. So I know that that's nice and snug. You just don't want it to be able to come forward off of your chin so that it stays in the right position while you ride. The last test that we often encourage folks to do, kids often like it, is to shake your head around. Make sure that it's not moving around. It's not going anywhere. It's a good fit for me. You'll notice these holes on the front. That is where this visor can pop in. So there are little knobs. I'll see if I can get it in view. Little knobs here that go right in. There are four of them. And that's what you pop in right here to the helmet. All right. Have fun riding. Stay safe. Visit our website, atspa.org. Find the little button for bike safety. And you can learn a lot of uh, great stuff about how to stay safe on your bike. Thank you.